Okay guys, so just a little supplemental video from the lecture we looked at earlier. Um, what I wanted to do was just try and see if we could um, nail this form of force closure. Okay, so just looking at the pelvis how it is, we have the anterior uh, capsule over the front of the joints through here with the uh, anterior SI ligaments running over this area through here. Okay, You'd also have the iliolumbar ligaments coming off the uh, ilium over here onto four and five okay and then if we turn the pelvis around yeah maybe okay we would have the sacrospinous ligament coming from here okay over to the sacrum and the sacral tuberous ligament coming from the initial tuberosities up to the sacrum as well okay the posterior si ligaments would basically be attaching from the ilium through here okay and uh, onto the onto the sacrum your interosseous ligaments would be really, really deep in here, okay, supporting the joint. Now, obviously, I can't dearticulate this and show you the uh, the uh, the auricular surface of the sacrum. But if you remember, like this surface, like it sounds, is an auricular surface. It's ear shaped, okay, and that helps with the locking system, okay. So the form closure is created by the shapes of the joint through here. Okay, so the auricular surface, how it all fits together, and uh, the, the, the ligaments in a neutral position. Okay, what happens with the force closure is as we put additional pressure through the spine, okay, it creates a mutational force through the sacrum. So the sacrum starts to try and mutate, so it's going to try and bend this way. Okay, all the ligaments are basically set up to hold and to stop mutation, okay? So they're gonna resist mutation of the sacrum, okay? And as they resist mutation of the sacrum, the ligaments, the anterior SI ligaments, the posterior SI ligaments, the ischial tuberosity, the sacral tuberosity, all of those ligaments are basically gonna cause the pelvis to flare in. So increased mutation here is not gonna happen. As the ligaments shorten, okay, to, to resist that, it's gonna pull the ilia together, which is gonna increase the pressure around the SI joint. Okay, um, hope that helps.